Hello! Welcome to my channel. I hope that you're all well. If you are new to my channel, then my name is Jen and I'm a mum to my son Ralph who is just over two and a half. Today I thought I'd share with you what is in my mummy bag. Um, do you know what? Before I was a mummy, my handbags were like designer handbags and I was like obsessed with them and I can't quite believe that these days this is my bag but I'm all for practicality, I'm a mum, I have a toddler that will just grab the handle and drag it across the floor so I need something that I don't really mind what happens to it and I also need my hands. I run after a toddler so I can put this on my back and off we go and all my friends that like see me with this bag are just like Jen what are you carrying it you look like you're going hiking so I thought I'd share what is in it so this is my mummy bag these days and this was from Accessorize. I think it was about £35 what I love about it is it's got three compartments so one for like little bits and pieces I normally have a section for me a section for Ralph it's got the little side pockets the backpack straps which are so handy when you've got a toddler and you need to be hands free another pocket at the side and then your handle. I also have a bag for Ralph and this was meant to be that he puts all his own stuff in this and he carries this himself but that lasted about five minutes and I ended up carrying both so um, I'll show you what's in this but I do have most of the stuff in my bag. So in the front pocket is where I keep all my little bits and pieces. I always keep a pot of pseudo cream in there, it's antiseptic healing cream, I can use it for so many different things, it's always handy to have in my bag. I keep Ralph's asthma pump, some antibacterial hand gel, I keep some Robinson squashed, I do like to give Ralph um, water as much as possible but there are times he kicks up a fuss and only wants juice. I also know if I'm out and I run out of drink for him I can just pick up a bottle of water and add this to it if I need to. A deodorant, a nail file for me, another one for me, my lipstick and Carmex. This is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Colour. And then I keep a toothbrush and toothpaste for Ralph, just because if we stay at grandparents longer, and we always seem to end up doing that, I know that I can clean his teeth before I put him in the car, and if he falls asleep, it doesn't matter. I also keep a toothbrush and toothpaste for me because I'm having Invisalign dental treatment. I need to clean, clean my teeth after every time I eat so I can put my braces back in and there's a pot for my braces as well. So the next section is where I keep things for me. So I've always got my notepad and diary on me. Obviously my purse. Since we've been having better weather I keep my sunglasses on me packet of tissues, some paracetamol, you never know when you might need them, <laughs> a selfie stick, do you know I really don't use this much but whenever I don't have it it's normally when I want it, a tangle teaser comb and then I keep some snacks for me. Now this is just a cashew nut bag but I normally add some mixed seeds, some chocolate chips and some raisins into this. This will keep me full up so if I'm really feeling hungry I can have this on the go and because it's in a resealable bag I can just take out what I want, seal it up but I know I've always got a snack on me. And of course I'm always taking pictures so I need my camera. So the next section is one for Ralph. Now I've got his drink bottle and he's got one of these Bandino bands on it. I got them from Not in the High Street. It personalises his name in the back, so it's really good for preschool. They're dishwasher friendly, they can go around any bottle. Um, yeah, and we really love them. So he's got that on his drink. I keep spare pyjamas. Um, he's two and a half now, so we don't need spare clothes very often, but I do find that our plans often change, and especially if we go to grandparents, we end up staying for late later, having dinner there, and this way I know I can put him in the bath, and I've got spare pyjamas, vest, pants, socks, I can clean his teeth, and if he falls asleep on the way home, then we can put him straight to bed. So I normally keep pyjamas, and they also double up as spare clothes if we really needed them when we were out. 
obviously emergency snacks now if we're going out for the day i will pack a proper pack lunch but i always keep some sort of snacks as emergencies in my bag now we always have some form of crisp whether it's pom bears um, we are trying these at the minute which is the chickpea pop pops a couple of the other vloggers that i follow um, and a friend of mine recommended these so we've got them in our bag at the moment and some fruit bowl strawberry yogurt flakes Ralph likes both of these and these are emergencies if I need to keep him entertained and emergency snacks when we're out. Obviously you can't go anywhere without a pack of wipes and these are the flushable toilet ones as well. I do keep some nappy bags on me, not that we need nappies anymore but I find that to have some bags on me is really handy for food that he doesn't want to eat anymore or just you know dirty shoes anything that i need to put in a bag then i find that i actually still use these um i also keep some socks for a trampoline in place that we go to because you have to use their own grippy socks and if i decide to go spare at the moment i know that i've got them on me i keep a bouncy ball this is one when you bang it on the floor it lights up so good for entertainment and if you watch my channel you know my son is obsessed with any sort of tractor cars diggers so i generally have a lot of these in the bottom of my bag and then in the zip part of my bag i keep some plasters and some cowpole sachets these are really good because you don't have to keep the bottle on you um, and you can just take a couple of these. So if your, to your toddler comes unwell while you're out, you can literally rip the top off, you can pour it on a spoon or you could just pour it straight into their mouth. Um, so I find that they're really handy just to keep on me if we have suddenly get a temperature or anything like that. I keep some balloons, again, impromptu toddler entertainment. I recently got stuck waiting for the AA, so stuff like this really comes in handy. And some chocolate gold coins i don't know i always keep them in my bag i took ralph to the woods one day to go for a walk with my parents he didn't want to walk but when we hid the chocolate coins everywhere and told him that the fairies were leaving them he decided he wanted to walk so yeah i use them for loads of little different things they're just handy for bribery if you need them and obviously i need my phone so that goes in the side <laughs> So this is Ralph's bag that he uses for preschool and it's the bag that I give to my mum when she has him while I work. Obviously most things are in my handbag and I don't want to be giving my handbag out every time someone has him so we use this bag instead. So this has just got the things that they might need like his drink, spare clothes, so joggers, a top, vest, pants and I think there's some socks. We have some toilet wipes. I've still got his hat and gloves in there, not that we really need it much more in this weather. And some cars. In the side, I just keep his asthma pump and a spare dummy. So there you go, that is everything I keep in my bag. I told you it is more of a survival guide than a handbag, but I've been caught out a few times and this way I know that I've got everything I could possibly need on me. And whatever I decide to do in the day, I've got everything for Ralph. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you like watching videos like this, then please subscribe to my channel. And I've got a lot more coming this way. So thanks again, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.